Okay. So for our final project, we'll be exploring the three current stages of the Filipino identity. The pre-colonial, the Maria Clara, and what our group defines as the present-day Filipino. All three stages of the Filipino identity will be expressed through a live performance that will include spoken word. The first, the pre-colonial. The Philippines during the pre-colonial period was not a whole entity the way it is now. It, made, it was made up of loosely related principalities with their own separate social, political, and economic systems. Under their own tribal rulers, the pre-colonial Filipino was a strong and very dominant figure in society and family life before the Spanish colonized the Philippines, an antithesis to the Filipino colonial and even post-colonial times. And I, during these times, were not defined by gender roles. Call me babae, la mujer indígena. Like rivers, I flow freely. Give me right and property. I am no man's property. When I marry men, he gives my family dowry in return for their loss of their cherished daughter. He takes my name, husband of a warrior woman. Eye to eye, we are equal. I am free, mind and body. Call me Babaylan, la mujer indígena. With my war drum, I heal, I counsel, I mediate, I elevate, rising to Diwata, I call for my barangay's good harvest for sunny days and rich soil. Call me Babae, la mujer indígena. Babae la laque, we are rooted from the same bamboo stick. I live by right, not privilege. I am a mother, but not your slave. Understand me, love me. Do right, man, and woman will do right by you, for you, with you. Just call me Babae, la mujer indígena. <laughs> the Maria, Maria Clara image of the Philippines, Filipina can be described as reserved, obedient to their male counterparts. A, few, a new Filipina was formed when the Spanish arrived. She had to follow many rules and regulations on how to lead the life of a good Mujer Christiana, which meant lesser freedom and rights. Colonization would complete, completely rewrite the definition of being a Filipina. Although women during Spanish colonization were seen as subservient, we will also be discussing the revolutionary women during these times who did not fit the frame of the stereotypical Maria Clara. She looks at you with downcast eyes, peers at you over the lace of her Spanish fan. Her skin rarely feels the warm tropical sun. She extends her ivory hand for young suitors to kiss, but quickly retreats when he, once he has paid his diary. Anong pagalan mo? Maria Clara. Maria Clara, the epitome of Filipina beauty. Maria Clara, hidden under the lush fabric of her traditional Spanish gown. Maria Clara, under the beck and call of her husband's command. Her supple lips, sealed tight as an, as an envelope, stifling her cries. A treasure chest of secrets burrowed in the bottom of her heart, peeking to the top of her mind. But silence breeds oppression, breeds resistance. Anong pangalan mo? Patrocinia Gamboa. I am the daughter of an illustrado, clothed in the finest garments, educated by private tutors. None would suspect my desire to be freed of the Spanish crown. Under the mask of Maria Clara, I walk the margins of Jose Rizal's words, waiting to become a revolutionary warrior woman. November 17, 1898, along with the women of Jaro, I weave the threads of our national flag. Round and round, I wrap the rays of the Philippine sun, the deep blue of a Pacific ocean, the vibrant red of our fallen soldiers, fabric tracing the outline of my body. Once again, I don the dress made by our Spanish oppressors to cover any traces of my Filipino pride, only to outwit the guards on my journey to Santa Barbara. Proud, I stood as we raised our national flag, establishing the Republican government of the Visayas. Anong pangalan mo? Patrocinia Gamboa. Heroin ajar. Now lastly, we will review the, what we consider the present-day Filipino through Alison Chichianco, Kubalicin, and Josel Sacramento's research on the Filipinaism. The present-day Filipino cannot be categorized into one single image. We present different types of present-day Filipino. Moments to 
one day recollect moments where I'm entwined in the presence of my husband and my Anak, my child, the next born blessed with the blood of Penai, painful childbirth or humanization into a family of mutual liberation, billions of moments devouring together endless home-cooked, finger-licking, hot and deliciously savory adobo and rice, grains of rice once paved under long hours by self-driven, powerful past Penai, Nganyong Arao, I, the present-day Penai. The language of my ancestors still grips at every butt of my tongue as I teach my coworker how to pronounce the letters NG in the beginning of the word Nayon. Nayon Arao, I come from the willpower and determination of the pre-colonial, with the beauty and the class of the Maria Clara. My ancestors run thick through my veins and I ride life gripping hard as the reins and I pull them back to Nayon Arao right now. Solidarity. 